Welcome to the lecture in basic electrical engineering. Here we are going to discuss this assignment questions. The given quantity is the charge. Charge is 0.025 into 1 minus e to the power minus 1000 T. And you have been asked to find out the value of current. So current is nothing but dQ by dt. And after evaluating it, substitute the value of time is equal to 4 milliseconds. So by that, after evaluation and doing the derivative, we will get the value of the current. So by evaluating this, we get the value is 0 0.457. So 0 0.457 is in between 0 0.42 and 0 0.48. The answer is C. And uh, this is very simple. Charge is given. Find the value of current at 4 milliseconds. Next question. The power supplied and absorbed supplied or observed or is there so it may be supplied or observed the voltage and the voltage drop across 4 ampere current source so 4 ampere current source is here and the direction is on the upward direction so let us say we have a, a polarity in this form I do not know whether this is a polarity or the reverse is a polarity and let us say the voltage across this current source is Vx so if we put a KVL, we move in any one direction. So if I move in one direction, I encounter first minus, so minus of Vx, then plus, then plus, the current is 4 ampere throughout the network. So 4 into 1 ohms, then plus is encountered, then 5, then again minus is encountered, and minus is 2 I1. I1 is already there, so 2 into 4, 8. Then again, minus is encountered, minus 2 is equal to 0. In this way, we need to solve the value of Vx. And after solving, what we are getting is, after solving, we are getting Vx is equal to minus of 1 volts. So minus of 1 volt means our assumption of the polarity is wrong. The user polarity should be plus over here and minus here. So what we get, the current is entering the plus terminal. So when the current is entering the plus terminal, the power is observed by the source so that is why 4 watt is the power observed and the voltage is 1 volts so that is how we get and the polarity is in this direction plus and minus we get the answer is c next question our energy source uh, forces a constant current of 2 ampere for 5 seconds to flow through a lamp 2 amperes for 5 seconds to flow through a lamp if 2 kilojoule is given off in the form of light and heat energy. So, how much energy is given off? 2 kilojoule is given off in the form of heat and light energy. The voltage drop across the lamp is how much? It's a very simple question. So, here simply a bulb is connected, 2 ampere is flown through it, and 5 seconds it is flown through it, and 2 kilojoule is energy. So, we know that V voltage is equal to a rate of change of energy with respect to 1 coulomb with respect to the coulomb dq so substitute the value w by i into t charge is nothing but total charge is current into time after substituting we get the voltage is 200 volts so that is how we get the answer is d another question is question number four here the value of the current is given to you the current is equal to 10 in, uh, 10 e to the power minus 2t and the voltage is given in terms, this is a current, and the voltage is also given as 5 derivative, you need to find it out. So after derivation, you will get exact value of the voltage. The amount of energy delivered in joules in between 0 and 2 seconds. So it is energy is asked, the energy is, you can write in W total from T0 to T1, or you can write from here 0 to 2. Uh, 0 to 2 and power you need to find PT and DT. So what is PT here? PT is nothing but multiplication of VT into I of T. Let's see the answer. So here PT is VT into I of T. It is coming around minus 1000 to the power minus 4T and by finding the energy in this way you will evaluate and you will get this answer in joules 249.91 and this is negative that means it is delivered energy is delivered that value is 249.91 249.91.5 the answer is a 
So another question is there, uh, here the source is given and the register is given one ohm and there is one equation is already given to you uh, that is I plus V is equal to 50. Another equation you can also form the current direction is this direction so there will be a plus and minus and you can put a KVL in this closed loop what you will get, uh, first you will get minus of V, minus of V because it is encountering minus first then you get plus of 1 into i so that is i into 1 that is same i is equal to 0 so from the KVL you get this second equation and you get the first equation like that and if you solve these two equations obviously if you just go to add up these two equations you will get here 2i is equal to 50 and i is equal to 25 that is how you get i equals to 25 and answer will be a Another sixth question is there the resistance of a wire of length L is given, diameter is given, uh, diameter is D and we know that R is equal to rho L by pi D square by uh, 4 that is pi L by A, so area is pi D square by 4. So we can substitute the value of L and D here and get the resistance which is equals to 8 ohm given. So what he says L increases by 100% so new L dash is 2 times of L and diameter reduces by 50% that means new D dash is equal to 0.5 D. So by putting these two value we can evaluate this and what we can get is that uh, we can value get the value of R dash which is getting uh, 8 times of the resistance value, the resistance value is 8, so it is 8 into 8 is 64 ohms, our answer is D. Another question is that uh, here the current is given, current is given to you and uh, you need to find the total charge, you know the charge is equal to I into T or you can write in terms of the integral that is I of T into DT and it is from T1 to T2 so it is a current how the current is changing so here you need to find out the current equation most important is current 1 so the current 1 equation that will be equals to see that this is a 20 uh, what is the x-axis this is 1 and 20 what is this point it is 0 and 0 so how do you write equation you can write equation y is equal to uh, x uh, like y equals to slope first m into x so what is the slope so y is here is the current so i1 t and the slope is 20 this value is 20 and the height is uh, height is 20 and the width is 1 so it is 20 by 1 that is 20 times uh, x axis that is t so like that you can write the value of the equation i 1 t so similarly suppose what is the current in during this interval the during this interval i 2 t is a fixed value that is uh, 20 now you need to find what is the current in this equation in this equation how to what is the hint suppose there is a line is here and the value is x1 uh, y1 and here is x2 y2 so how do you draw the equation here equation here you can say y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 x minus x1 so similarly put it value you can get evaluate what is the value of i3t i3t you can evaluate that similarly you can go for i4 i5 and then you can find out the charge value so here after evaluation you are getting the minus 20 plus 40 the value of i3 and the value of i4 is 10 value of i5 is coming out to minus 20 plus 60 similarly just use this logic here so let us take a talk about this from here the value is uh, what is the x value is 5 and y value is 10 here the x value is 6 and the y value is 0 so you can just uh, take this uh, draw the equation from using this logic and you will get minus 20 uh, plus 60 and that why you can just add up the value of all 1 2 3 4 5 so there are five instances 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 and this is a 5 this is entire thing is the fourth and this is the 5 so here remember the total time is 2 so that is why here 2 here the time is everyone is 1 1 1 so that is why 0 to 1 again 1 3 2 to 3 and here 5 to 6 like that and you get a total answer is 70 coulomb 70 coulomb is between 68 and 72 it is so it is b 
Another question is very interesting question is there that is two bulb is there with 230 volt, 40 watt and 230 volt, 60 watt. So you have got two bulbs but the thing is that these two bulbs are not connected in parallel rather they are connected in series and they are connected in series with the supply source and source RMS voltage is given to you that is 230 volts. So without uh, thinking about this AC and how to do, just think that because RMS value is given 230 volt uh, and let us uh, go for the solution. So it is uh, then you been asked that uh, then the bulb, uh, which bulb will grow brighter or in the sense. So for that, let us write down there's 230, this is for one bulb and 60 watt. So we know that a bulb which is having 60 watt and bulb which is having 40 watt the 60 watt bulb is actually the brighter one. Uh, let's say 200 watt bulb or 500 watt bulb, it is brighter one. But the problem here is it is connected in series rather than in parallel. And also we know that uh, power is equal to V square by R, so resistance is equal to uh, V square by P, which is uh, R is inversely proportional to the power. So if power is here more, so this uh, resistance is less and this resistance R1 will be definitely greater than R2. If R1 is greater, the voltage drop across this V1 will be greater than V2. If voltage will be more over here, so obviously the power will be drawn by this will be more. To see that, you can see that the bulb 1 and bulb 2 both are compared and we find the resistance is high obviously, 40 watt is higher resistance and 60 watt is less resistance but because the resistance is high and it is in series so it will draw more voltage over here and less voltage on the other side uh, and we find the power is coming out of 14.4 watt and 9.6 watt so power is more means it is brighter so 40 watt will be brighter, answer is B. Uh, next answer, uh, next question is about the battery uh, ch uh, charge supplies a constant current into a 200 volt battery for 2 hours. So a battery is there, so draw, take a symbol of battery and it is of 200 volts, it is supplied with for 2 hours, it is supplied. If during this process the amount of energy supplied to the battery is 4 kilowatt hour, so energy is also given to you that is 4 kilowatt hour or you can say 4000 watt hour then the current drawn by the battery is how much so see that uh, total energy is equals to V, I and T so it is in kilowatt hour so just convert into watt hour and this is the voltage and this is the current and this is the our time in hours so from that you can get current is 10 amperes answer is B and this is what here you have been asked the energy total energy that is consumed in the home that has been given so here is the total energy and 50 percent of it throughout the day you are using so go to the solution over here so you find first find out what is the load 4850 watt is the load average unit in one month will be like you are used consuming 50 percent so it is 50 percent of it is the load and for one day 24 hours and how many days in a month 30 days in a month let us assume 30 days so you are getting 1746 units that means 1746 kilowatt hour kilowatt hour means unit so for first 500 unit 150 is a fixed price and first first 800 units you have 4 rupees and for next 500 5 rupees and then rest 4 or 6 is 6 rupees the so total amount consumption is 8,526, 8, so which is answer is D. Uh, next is a question where is which circuit is valid? So you can see here it is our dependent sources there. If you multiply with the V1 which is given, this is 20 volts. So 20 volt and 20, this is also 10 and 10. So this is this side 20 volts, this side 20 volts. So it's okay. Here you have got a current source of 2 ampere, another current source of 10 amp. Uh, this is V1 is 10 by 5, so it is 10 by 2, that is equals to 5 ampere. So you cannot have one, two current source, two current same, uh, different values in the same line or same through a register. So this is not a valid circuit. So here also you have got a current source and here the voltage source. Uh, that's okay. Two voltage sources are in uh, parallel uh, with the register. This is okay. 
here you have got uh, this is uh, actually 4 ampere will come out so you have got 4 ampere in this end and 4 ampere in this end they are crossing each other and netting it zero this is also not a valid circuit so ANC is a valid circuit okay that's all thank you very much